Neil McCoy just sat down. Everybody's favorite Texapino is uh, uh, <laughs> pranking his manager right now by calling him from every sample track phone that's lying around in these radio tables here in Nashville. I'm trying, but I think he's getting so used to it he quits answering. It. <laughs> <laughs> Neil McCoy, hey, what y'all doing? We're 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 good. For a couple of years ago. You were the spokesman for Raper RVs out of sure. Richmond, Indiana. That's right. You were there for like a half an hour, and then you were gone. And I was like, "That was that is how did that happen?" You know what? I I don't even know how it all came about. We had done what happened is we did a uh, one of their shows in the fall that they'd have for all their employees and stuff. We did that, and oh, then I guess okay. they I guess they ended up liking us enough to where they wanted us to be their spokesperson for a little while. Okay, so. Uh, it was crazy. It was like out of a clear blue sky. Here's Neil McCoy. I was like, okay, I'll buy that. That's good. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I'm glad you got I some just, extra bucks. I was just trying to get a, a motorhome out of the deal. <laughs> did you get a new I did. bus? We're good. They were oh. they're nice people. They took great care of well us. Well done. Very awesome. Well, well, you have some fans in Indiana. You know, I wanted to read you an email that we just actually got yesterday, oh, coincidentally really? enough. That uh, says, Hi, my name is Doug. I live in the big city of Martinsville in Indiana. Okay. Uh, three daughters, age 13, 15, 21. Uh, my middle daughter turned 16 on June the 16th. She's always been a big Neil McCoy fan. As part of her gift, I got her tickets to see him at the Little Nashville Opry June 28th. Oh. I was wondering if there's anything you might be able to contact someone so he'd be able to acknowledge it by mentioning it or singing to her. So, uh, sign one of your biggest fans, Doug. So there, I've taken care of it. I've not only uh, mentioned it to someone, <laughs> I've mentioned it to Neil McCoy himself sitting here. We didn't even have to call your people. I tell you what, will you, I'll get you a card, and would you e- forward that to me? And I we'll will. And make sure at the show and say hello to her. That's, 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 that's great. Yeah, now, other than saying hello to her on the air here. Now, how often do you get that kind of a request to do not, birthday songs and stuff? We get them, but most time <laughs> they just bring them to us. When I'm on stage, they'll bring us a note or something. Sure, but, right. But yeah. not, in, not all of them are... As uh, as smart as this guy and as good as this guy and yeah, well, uh, thorough, try, I guess. Uh, try to go through that. channels to, to get it done rather than just rush the stage. And yeah. Neil, it's my birthday. <laughs> well, I'd, I'd love to sing Happy Birthday. Or 16 years old, he said. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bless your heart. Never been kissed, probably. Uh, well, Poor little old girl. Y- you can do a song for her. Don't do uh, Billy's Got His Beer Goggles on or oh, anything no, like no. that. Just something, something appropriate for a 16 yeah, we'll year old, if you classy. will. There you the go. Shake. <laughs> I noticed you got the USO hat on. Yes, sir. And uh, when's the last time you were over? Uh, January we're in Iraq. Okay, All for right. a week. All right, but it's my it's my seventh trip, so uh, it's something I'm very proud of, and I wear this hat proud of. Them. I'm, it's a great organization, and they they bring a lot of a uh, lot of great things to these soldiers overseas. That's terrific. Yeah, and, and you've been uh, each each trip has been to Iraq, or I've been to Iraq seven times. I've been to Afghanistan a couple of times, Bosnia, Italy, Hungary, wow. a lot of places, and a lot of places here in the state, a lot of bases. So you, you know that's interesting. Obviously, uh, our men and women are seeing combat in in some areas and not in others, but there still right. are people that are far away from home and in places like Bosnia where it's kind of calmed down somewhat, but they're that's still right. way away from home. And I'm sure love to see a guy like you come through and remember it, that. that Oh, I appreciate you saying that. And then Japan, Korea, we got a lot of soldiers all over the world that are that are doing great work. And and they, like you said, they do miss being home. And it's our way of coming over and telling them uh, we know we appreciate you. You bring a little barbecue with you, a little Texas. Oh barbecue? yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you won't keep on that plane, or I would. Just that'd be for my sake to eat, not for them. <laughs> now, now, what Neil McCoy song do the troops really get into? What's the one that they? You know, they, they love the, the city. We had a song called "The City Put the Country Back in Sure. Me. They love it. All those good redneck boys love to hear that thing, and they they know all the other stuff too. But they really like that one. That's you, you know, we would yeah. play that right now, but we just did about an hour ago. So the city put the country back. We did, yeah. We, did. we just did. We, we play that all the time. That's well, a big we got one a around us. Single out. I hope that that we'll have the y'all called Rednectified. Rednectified. Our, Rednectified. Okay. Yes, that's our that's our new single, and hopefully we'll get it to y'all. We young play it. That'll be the new one that the good old boys want to hear. Let's oh, hope overseas, so. Man. I'm sure <laughs> it sounds so. like it. Well, how about Billy's got his beer goggles on? Let's do that one right now. Please do. All right, Neil McCoy. Thanks for the time, man. Good it's seeing y'all. Meeting you. All right, guys. Finally, here he is now. It's Neil McCoy on the Wankado O'Brien Show. Ed and Dave with you live from Nashville. 